I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Keon Henderson talks about the damage his church suffered during Hurricane Barrel. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you again for being back here with us for the Jesus Girl Summit. I can't wait. I can't wait. I actually been thinking about this. Do you know this will be my first time preaching in five weeks? Whoa. Were you on a sabbatical? Yeah. So we we take a sabbatical uh, every July. And... um, this wasn't this wasn't a sabbatical at all. So we started off about the third uh, of July, got to the eighth, and then the hurricane hit. And so we've been uh, working. Our church got literally destroyed by the hurricane. So we've been um, working tirelessly wow. trying to get so a place to worship. How are you worship. doing? How is Lady Shawnee doing? How is the ministry doing after the hurricane? I mean, we're doing. A- best we can you know we're just trying to figure out where we're going to go where we're going to worship um this coming august uh by the grace of god we'll be um uh, using lakewood church for the month of august and so we'll be there that's a beautiful uh, church to be at that's a beautiful (laughs) place to be so we'll be there in august and hopefully uh we'll find out where we're going to go from there because it's going to be a couple years before we're able to get our building back up functioning but you know god is good and um just i just can't wait to get to you wow praise god God for you. I I can't just jump to the summit after you just shared that because I've been hearing so much from so many leaders who have been dealing with some tough times and you are in the middle of a challenge and yet present and leading. How do you do that? Yeah, because, you know, this is what this is what we know. The the building is down, but the church is open. I've never defined our church by where we worship. We're defined as the church by who we worship. And that doesn't change whether I'm in Virginia or whether I'm in Houston, whether I'm in California. So I'm not I'm not discouraged. Buildings can be rebuilt. No one no one was hurt. No one was injured. Uh, The spirit of our church is still strong. And I think this is, uh, you know, in life, you get chances and you get opportunities. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And I believe this is an opportunity to do something uh, that will give God the glory. So I'm excited about it. I love that. I love that. How you shape your perspective and what you call it will make the difference. Well, let me, let me tell you this. So since we're on live, I mean, we can talk about whatever we want. I just sent a friend of mine this uh, picture okay. of a giraffe. A giraffe was painting a lady and the lady had a hat on. Got it. Right. And the giraffe was looking at the lady. And when they looked at the picture, the giraffe pointed, he painted a circle. And so they went and asked the giraffe for his money back. He said, why, why would you paint a circle? The giraffe painted from its perspective. All the giraffe could see was the top of the hat. Oh, see. So sometimes in life, what you paint is a result of what mm-hmm. you see. Mm-hmm. If you just and if you just change your vantage point and you look at it differently, you could get some details. You know, some people keep their look their head too low. Some people keep it too high. Whatever the case is, if you change your perspective, uh, mm-hmm. you could paint a different mm-hmm. picture been talking about the whole reimagine that's the theme actually this year and it's so important the lens that you're looking through that lens is uh if it's impaired if it's you know based on your disappointments and all the things that you've been through but if you can look at what happened you know with the storm and say okay maybe there's some other things we can do what can at least you saw what it was right you see what it is now but what can it be what can Lighthouse yeah. be? You know, where, it can be, where, where, it can be whatever you want it to be, it right? Can be whatever you want it to be. Wow. Okay. So you wrecked the place when you were with us uh, last time. I don't think many people know how new school, old school you are. Because oh you're so God. relevant on social media with all the, you know, just the sayings and the stuff that you drop. And I love what you're doing with the Take Action Tuesdays. You know, you just reach people where they are. Yeah. But when you were preaching, that old, old, ancient oil. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that part. I yeah. was just blessed by what, what I was saying. But when that glory was on you in that room and you was Be preaching sure the weight to like, on the words that share, you were saying, and subscribe. that was awesome. Like, yeah, that's you. that's that's. That's how I was raised. You know, I was raised by old school preachers. Um, and I'll be honest with you. Can I share a story yes. with you? I remember 
for trying to get away from it. I remember I was like, that stuff is old school. I don't want to do it anymore. And and I tried to change my, my preaching style. And one of my mentors, he heard me preach one day and he said, he said, I see you trying to change your preaching style. He says, I know exactly who you're trying to preach like. He said, but the problem is you're bigger than the person you're trying to imitate. Wow. And, and that hit me. And, and it hit me because God can never bless who you mm -hmm. pretend to be. Right. You are who you are, and people are looking for you to show up in an original package. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.